All right, guys, welcome back to the Tush Mahal. It's uh, Monday, July the 17th. It's Tush coming at you. And we're at T minus 62 on the calendar. And uh, I think what we're going to do today is before we weld those sills in place, or this sill on the driver's side in place, we're going to take the fender off and we're going to repair a few sections of the fender. I don't have the repair patch for the bottom. But uh, there are some uh, repair areas on the inside I can do, like the inner flange needs to be repaired. And I can definitely do a little bit of body work and pound some of these dents out. I've got a large dent here and a very large dent here that I can try to work out a little bit. And maybe we'll uh, strip the fender and uh, try to get rid of some of the rust on the inside and the outside. So we'll work on this fender a little bit today. And uh, eventually we'll get back to uh, welding in that uh, outer sill. That's it for now. So the first thing I'm going to do while I've got the fender mounted is I'm going to drill out the rivets that hold these little keepers for the uh, trim strips. So we'll uh, drill those out, remove those, that'll make it easier for us to strip the fender at a later date. And uh, then we'll remove the fender from the car and we'll go to work on it. Alright, the little buttons there have been drilled out that hold the, uh, hin or the trim strips. So I just wanted to give you a last look of that nice uh, lavender uh, paint before it all goes away. So we're going to start stripping that fender now. Alright guys, quick update for you. We're making uh, good progress on that fender. We've spent probably about uh, an hour and a half on it already. And uh, we're getting there. We're using a combination of the uh, four and a half inch angle grinder with an 80 grit disc on it. We've got a couple of different DAs out with 80 grit. Uh, for the corner uh, bits, uh, like the little uh, edge here we're using this fiber disc, a 3M fiber disc to sort of clean out the uh, paint from that area. Uh, we broke the sandblaster out to clean this area up a little bit and there's another little spot of rust here we just give a quick blast to. So obviously you can see we need some repair there but you know what this is a little bit better than actually I thought it was going to be. The, the metal is actually fairly solid with the exception of that area right there. So obviously big dent here, uh, big dent here, some dents here, dents here, uh, a dent here dent down there so lots of dents in it but uh, so far not too bad compared to some of the fenders I've uh, seen and had the pleasure of working on so anyway uh, we're gonna take a bit of a break and uh, we'll get back out here we're gonna let the co compressor cool down a little bit it's been going uh, non-stop for the last hour and a half so we'll give that a little break to uh, to cool down so I don't kill it all right guys we'll come in a, we'll come back in a bit all right, guys, quick update for you. We've got uh, most of the fender done. We have a little bit on the nose that we have left to done, but it's probably easier for me to get to that uh, when it's on a stand. So we're just about to uh, unbolt it from the uh, body tub and uh, move it over to a stand and uh, continue working on the uh, rest of the outside. And then we'll start working on the uh, inside and uh, trying to have a look at that flange and maybe uh, try to clean up some rust on the inside as well before we go ahead and uh, knock some, uh, or at least try and knock some dents out and repair a few rust holes like this area here. So that's the plan anyway, so we'll get the fender off the car. Alright guys, here's a quick look at the uh, inside of the fender and the flange piece that we were talking about that needs some rust repair. Obviously needs some repair down here, and it needs some repair in the center. Needs a little repair up the top as well. We've got quite a bit of surface rust up the top here, which is a uh, normal area for these to rust. Again, this car wasn't run with the uh, baffle plates in here, so it ended up collecting a lot of dirt and debris back in here. Those plates normally fit here. You can just see the outline of them. And they were supposed to have been a seal here to stop all the stuff coming in from the, uh, the front uh, road wheels, but that wasn't the case with this car. So we've got a, quite a bit of rust in here, so we're going to see how we can clean this up. We're also going to try to clean the flange up a, a little bit. doesn't look too bad, but we'll see what it looks like after we get it ground down. The rest of the fender doesn't look too bad, even the front part. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, get to starting to get the grinder out and see what we can clean up to start with and then we'll start uh, doing these repair sections. I'm trying to mix up the uh, grinding and sanding work with a little bit of uh, hammer and dolly work. So the first dent we're going to try to get out is this big one at the front and I've got good access to it so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to get that looking better. So we've got the hammer and dolly set out and uh, we're going to go to town on that one first and see if we can make that look better. So there's the before and uh, we'll see what it looks like after. Alright guys, I managed to hammer out that first uh, big dent in the nose of the fender. I think it looks not too bad. Probably a little bit more uh, hammer work, but uh, thin coat of filler and I think we should be good to go. So that looks uh, much better than it did. 
hopefully you can see that on camera. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, maybe we'll continue on to do uh, another dent, maybe like this one here, or this one here, or this one here, or this one here, or this one over here, or this one here. No shortage of dents to look at. Anyway, we'll come back. I find it's a good idea when you're cleaning up your panel, if you can help it, not to uh, remove the paint from inside the dent, because it acts as sort of a guide coat so you can feel whether you're high or low. You can see obviously I've got a couple of high spots here where it's going shiny, but the remaining areas are still low. So I'm gonna continue hammering, dolling this dent out until I can just take a block uh, sanding block and sand crisscross patterns over it until uh, all that uh, old paint uniformly disappears. So that's what I'm doing. So we're making progress on that dent. You can see there's still some low spots here after sanding with a block. So uh, we're going to continue to uh, hammer and dolly that just a little bit and bring that area up and then we'll sand it again. All right guys, and there's that same spot after a little uh, hammer and dolly work. So a little bit of filler left, but not too bad. We do have a pretty significant dent here to contend with, and it's just beside it, so I'll probably work on knocking that out next. It's distorting this a little bit, but uh, anyway, I think it looks okay. So we'll move on to the next spot, right there. All right guys, uh, just a quick update for you. Monday night around, uh, coming up to about nine o'clock, and we're gonna call it a night. I uh, got a few more small dents out. We still have some um, more of the major ones to get out, but uh, it's definitely looking better. It's going in the right direction. So uh, we're going to stop here for the night, um, and then we'll get back out here hopefully tomorrow night, and we'll make a bit more progress on this fender. Like I said, we're going to switch gears and go back to uh, welding that sill in. I'm sort of uh, stalling for time for a little bit because I've got uh, uh, new tips coming for my... Um, spot welder and I'm going to be using the spot welder quite a bit so I should have some new uh, tips coming actually you can see one of the tips on the floor there it's actually just come out of the uh, out of the arm um, so I've got new tips coming for the uh, spot welder that will make uh, a little cleaner spot weld than those those are fairly old now and the tips have uh, mushroomed a little bit so the uh, spot weld themselves are a little bit bigger than what they need to be so the new tips should make it easier for me uh, once they uh, come in the mail so that's why I'm sort of holding off doing the sills uh, for a few days and just working on panels. Uh, it's not like these don't have to be done at some point anyway, so it's not like I'm wasting time. So anyway, it's just uh, a different uh, division of uh, labor, I guess. We'll uh, switch back to the sills once I get those tips in. That's it for tonight, guys. We'll uh, probably just uh, bring the camera inside, get it charged up to be out here tomorrow. All right, guys. Talk to you later.